Hey guys, thank you for watching. This is Breaking Burke. It is my YouTube channel about houseplants and gardening here in the desert of Albuquerque, New Mexico. In today's video, I wanted to share with you uh, how philodendron show that they need more humidity. Now, if you remember the calathea that I showed you the other day, uh, tends to curl up. Now, philodendron are a little more touchy in that if they don't have the proper humidity when they're unfurling, you end up with your leaf getting stuck. Now, sometimes you can go through and you can wiggle the leaf loose and that'll help, but it will never unfurl the way it should have. See that one, how it's all crinkly and still curled up and wrinkled? And you see the next one coming in slightly better but I still need to work on the humidity on this. But there's the mother leaf, and you can tell that one, I was doing something right there. But I've noticed when transferring propagations to soil, you do have to supplement the humidity a bit. If not, you end up with stuff like this. Uh, another example, this is something I did the exact same way but you can see the leaves on this are perfectly fine. So I think it's just a hit and miss too. I mean, some plants, these are off of two different pink pin princess. You can see this one has more uh, flashy underside than the top. The plant I got this off of did have pretty top sides of leaves on the mother plant. But this one has it everywhere. See the stalk? Notice that pink on the inside. Little baby leaf underneath the baby leaf and the bigger leaf. And the top isn't all that flashy, but it does have pink speckles throughout. So that's kind of cute. Uh, but another example is my philodendron plowmani here. You can see the first two leaves got stuck and were kind of crispy and got torn because they didn't have proper humidity. However, my newest leaf, which I am so proud of, this is the first one that grew in my care, is blemish free. It's a beaut. It does have a little bit of a dead bug there in the center, looks like. Let's see if I can get that off. I've been dealing with fungus nets and there really is no one way to deal with them. You just got to figure it out on your own. Everyone's situation is different. Uh, but you can see the fungus nets are dying because it was dead on the leaf. So that's good. And my leaf here, like I said, pretty freaking awesome that it's not tore up, especially since all the rest are. And if we turn the plant around here, you can see there's our first little baby leaf that isn't doing much for us now. It did have a little stump coming out the back here, but I guess it decided to put all its energy into one growth point, which is okay. And you can see this leaf that just unfurled right here. See that little swollen part right there? You can see the leaf tip sticking out. That's going to be our next new leaf, so that's the part we need to make sure if we are having humidity issues, because that's why our leaves are getting stuck like this on philodendron, that you either supplement the humidity, or what I did on this one, once I seen that it was coming out with a new leaf, I sprayed it. So for all those people who love to spray, philodendrons are probably the plant for you. Now you do have to be careful with what philodendron you start misting, because the philodendron that are velvety type, those really don't like water on their leaves, so keep that in mind. Uh, this one here, you can see, is another one that's getting stuck. However, I've only had this one for a few weeks, and it didn't grow the first few weeks that I had it. It was just there. The guy I got it from had it in moss, which is perfectly fine. That's how I root my things. But it had been in moss for so long that it created a root ball that you could not take the moss off of. And normally I pull off the moss that I can and plant it. Uh, I did get some tips from other YouTubers who 
said they just plant the entire thing as is with moss and all and just let it rot and that's what I did and like I said it did take a while to rebound you can see that's its only pretty leaf and that's not anything I did I didn't do that either the ugly one uh, but this one here it's barely coming out and that I can guarantee is gonna look funky uh, has been well it's been in my care like I said, when I put it in soil, it took a shock. And then it kind of just stunted for a while. Then I did notice it was coming out stuck, so you can try and help these out. You have to be careful though, not pull on it or not break it, because at the end of that, or at the base of that, is the new leaf. If you break it, you can jeopardize putting the plant back in uh, growth, because it's not gonna have its growing point there no more. It's gonna have to turn on one of these other buds to grow. And yes, you can start growing like that, but it's not going to have the same characteristics, characteristics as the top here. This is going to have the bigger, prettier leaves with the same colors. Uh, from here, you're going to start with the smaller leaf and have juvenile form for probably a few leaves before it starts to go back to what it was before. Another issue with that, it will start to grow out this way instead of straight up. So, I mean, there's that too. If you're really finicky about your plants, uh, especially if you notice your philodendron leaves starting to get stuck or not flattening out completely, this is a sign of improper humidity. Uh, actually, the humidity is too low, so make sure you keep it on your plants. If you do notice that they're getting stuck or the leaves are coming out a little torn or tattered like this one, that is also a sign of uh, not enough humidity. On the philodendron, when you mist it, the water can go down into the cracks there and it can help lubricate the uh, leaf sheath where the next leaf comes out of and provide that humidity needed to get nice pretty leaves. Hopefully this helped you, gave you a little bit of tips on why your leaves are looking funky if you're growing philodendron and they're not unfurling correctly or uh, if you had a question on whether you should help it or not yes and no because yes you could break that growing point loose but no you shouldn't help it too much because you could break that growing point off and there's really no helping the ugly unsightly curled leaves like this you got to do it before you can't do it after so that's going to stay like that until it gets pruned off but hopefully we end up with a plant that looks more like this in the end Thank you for watching and have a great day.